there's nothing better than the smell of baked goods. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with the Queen of Canadian Cooking, Elizabeth Baird. Firstly, tell us how important are ingredients, freshness of ingredients? In baking, they are particularly important to have the fresh eggs, the really good butter. Uh, brown sugar, white sugar and flour are pretty standard in, in Canada, but the fresh eggs and fresh butter are really crucial. And fresh spices, because a lot of baking has some cinnamon or some nutmeg, and if your spices have been hanging out on the counter or by the stove, chances of them tasting delicious are poor, I would say. And what are the ingredients that we should always have in our pantry? I think we should always have small purpose flour. You should always have granulated and brown sugar. You should have eggs in the refrigerator and milk. A keen baker, you could also have buttermilk. I would like to also have some nuts, and I like the walnuts that come from California. Sometimes those ones that are already chopped up and they sell in little bags, too stale to, to use and will make you spoil your thing. I always like to have lemons and oranges because you often use them, and vanilla and some chocolate as well. Do you have any tips for first time bakers, you know, so we can avoid a horror story? I think there's a couple of things that are really important and one is of course you've mentioned already the freshness of your ingredients and the second thing is to measure uh, accurately. What you do is to measure things like flour and granulated sugar is you take your dry measuring cups and you hold them over your bag of flour and you spoon the flour in and then you sweep it off with a knife. That way you're going to get the same amount of flour every time. Do you have any horror stories from when you started out? I tend to um, be uh, trying to do too many things at once, so I have burned more than my share of, of cookies. One of the reasons why I suggest that people use the center of the oven and do one baking sheet at a time is from my experience, because people want to be a little bit speedier, they put the cookie sheets just above and below the middle of the oven, and then you take them out halfway through the baking time and uh, rotate the pans and switch their location. But I find that for me, I have to really focus and you can't take any phone calls and that kind of stuff. So what's one of your favorite recipes in this book? There was one recipe that I really wanted to include in the book, uh, and it was called the Queen Elizabeth Cake. Now, it's not because my name is Elizabeth, but this particular cake, what everybody loves about it is that when it comes out of the oven, you put a mixture of butter, sugar, and coconut on the top. Put it under the boiler, and it's like having candy on your cake. Thank you very much. It's been my pleasure. Thank you very much. Keep baking.